Hi guys, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use multiplication to solve division problems. Alright, so we're going to start with a word problem. I have 96 fun size Snickers bars and I want to share them with 8 friends. How many fun size Snickers bars will each friend get? Well, I have the array right here and I've got 96 total Snickers bar. I have 8 friends, that's one of the dimensions. So my question is, I'm trying to figure out what's the other dimension for this array. So I'm going to put it into a multiplication problem format to help us start thinking. So it's 8 times something, we don't know what that other number is, and it's going to equal 96. I've got a factor of 8 times another factor, which I don't know yet, is going to give me the multiple of 96. So knowing that, I can start thinking of my times tables to help me. And again, I always like to start with 10. 10 is so easy to start with. So let's see. Oops, wrong thing. I'm going to move this down. My problem is, my division problem is 96 divided by 8. Alright, so I'm just going to write that up here so we keep, um, keep track of what problem we're doing. 96 divided by 8. And it's going to be equals. Now I'm going to get that divided by sign because that's not an easy one to get off the keyboard. Oops. All right, so let me put this in. Make it a little smaller. So we got 96 divided by 8. All right, so just like with the multiple tower, it's easy to start with groups of 10. So that's where I'm going to start. I know 10 times 8 equals. 80. So I've taken care of 10 groups so far and that equals 80 of my Snickers bars. So I started with 96 Snickers bars for my friends and I'm minusing 80 because I already I've already given my friends 10 groups um, and in each group there was 8 so that meant that there were 80. So now I'm going to subtract. So I've got my 96 minus 80. Alright, let me get back here with the text button. So if I take 6 away, that's going to be 0, and, or 0 take, taken away from 6 equals 6, and then 9 take away 1 equal, or 9 take away 8 equals 1. So my answer is 16. So now I still have uh, 16 left over. So now I'm trying to think, okay, what can I times the 8 by that's going to get me close or exactly equal to 16? Well, I know that 2 times 8 equals 16. So now I've got something that looks pretty similar to the break apart method. I've got my um, 10 and my 2 here, which I can add, 12 times my groups of 8, and that equals 96. All right, great. So now I've got 2 times 8 equals 16, so I subtract 16 from over here, and when I take 16 minus 16, I have zero. So that tells me I have no remainders. And I know that 16, um, I mean 12 times 8 equals 96. So I'm going to check my work. 12 times 8 equals, well let's break that down into 10 times 8 equals and 2 times 8 equals. So 10 times 8 equals 80, 2 times 8 equals 16, now I'm going to add them up, and I have my 2 plus my 10, that's going to be 12 times, groups of 8 still going to be the same, and then I'm going to equal 96, so I'm back to where I started with the 96, that tells me I do have the right answer. Alright, let's try another one. 
All right, so now we're going to start with 136 divided by 8. So I'm going to start with my groups of 10 again because that's very easy to work with. Um, I'm trying to make <clears throat> a group out of 136. So let's say it's those Snickers bars again. I had 136 Snicker bars. I want to share them with eight friends. So I'm going to start with 10 groups. 10 groups of 8 equals 80. So now I had um, 136 and I put 80 of my Snickers bars into into groups, into 10 groups. So now I've got 6 minus 0 equals 6 and 3 take away 8 can't do that so I bring the 1 over make that a 0 now it's 13 take away 8 equals 56 okay so now I'm trying to think what can I times the 8 by that's going to get me close to this 56 well I know that 7 times 8 equals 56 so let's see when I take my 56 and subtract I have none left over so that means I've gotten as close as I can so now let's add those up and let's say 17 times 8 equals 6 plus 0 6 8 plus 5 136 so I've got my original answer it tells me that I have the right answer. Let's just double check to make sure. I'm going to do the box strategy. So I had um, my answer was 17. So what I'm doing is 17 times 8. So I'm going to put 17 times 8. All right, so my 8 is going to go here. My 10 is going to go here my 7 is going to go here so I have 10 times 8 which equals 80 and then I have 8 times 7 which is 56 so now I have my 80 plus my 56 add them up 6 13 136 so let's see is that what I was dividing yep 136 now it's your turn I want you to solve these practice problems on a piece of paper and then um, turn in that piece of paper tomorrow there is uh, some questions on the Google form I'd like you to answer to um, and remember when you're solving these I want you to practice the strategy using multiplication to solve division not the multiple tower or any other strategy I want you to use the strategy of using multiplication. Good luck. See you tomorrow.